Uh, hello friends we are going to learn how to copy files from one location to another location okay so we have uh, our usb flash drive which we'll be using to transfer data maybe from the usb flash drive to this computer or this laptop and also to transfer files from this laptop back to the usb flash drive so let me minimize this work uh i have these three files okay let's say i want to copy these three files and then paste them on the usb flash drive so that i can i can have a copy of these three on the usb flash drive and then i can uh, take it anywhere with me so when i get to another computer i can assess uh, these three documents so we will start by selecting all three of them one of the way to select all three of them is, uh, you click this one here you see by clicking on it we call it select okay if i want to deselect i click outside that that's deselect i'll click just once not twice i click outside i deselect so let's do it i click on it it has selected now you move the cursor to the next one you want to click on the next one but before you click on the next one you must press on control from your keyboard let me go and show you where control is on your keyboard so this uh, button here is ctrl we call it control one is on the right side on, of your keyboard the other one is on the left side of your keyboard so you must press just one of them they have the same function so you press this one and keep pressing with your finger and then whilst pressing you click on Okay, uh, let, let's start all over. I think I have deselected it. So you will click on the first uh, file or folder without the control. So once the first file is selected, now you join the control button, keep pressing. Then you select the second one. Whilst your finger is still on the control button, you press the third one. When all the items are selected, you can now release your finger from the control uh, button. So these three, you can see clearly they are selected. You can compare these three with the intro to computers. Uh, you can see that these ones have some shadows. It means they are selected. So we are going to copy. And to copy, we basically right click, okay? Within the selected space, it doesn't matter whether I go to activity one, two, or three. They are moving as a unit. So I put it on one of the selected spaces like this one here then i right click from the keyboard sorry from the mouse you right click on your mouse so once you right click you see the options right copy copy we also have what it was sent to you see once you click on send to you see i put the case on send to then it showed me it shows me possible places where i can send a copy of these uh, folders so if i want to send it to the usb you can see the usb is the last option by just clicking on it it will copy straight away to the usb so that is the fastest way right uh, all we did was to select all of them you click this one then with the help of your control you select the second one you select the third one now remove your finger from the control then within this selected space don't click anywhere otherwise you are going to deselect it so as it is still selected right click on the selected space any place you stand is okay then you go to send to so as the arrow opens you see this option so i want to send to usb it goes there but i'm not going to use this option okay let's use the normal one that many people are familiar with we go to copy so you click on copy which is left click it copies but you may not see it right you may not see it so now the next thing is to go to where the usb drive is or where the memory stick is one of the ways of accessing your memory stick or usb flash drive is by going to file explorer which is the bottom side here on the taskbar this yellow button uh, we have uh, spoken about it before so just click anything you want to open on the tax bar you don't do double click it's just one click then it opens for you so you just make a single click it opens so let us enlarge this window by maximizing it okay so here we have several options i can look on the left side here 
I can look here for my USB, which is the one here that says USB drive E. Sometimes it goes as removable drive, removable drive. But then uh, I will not use this option. I want you to have a broader understanding. This place called this PC or my computer. Normally, any external device that you connect to your computer, you can find it the moment you open this PC. As I said earlier, we could have ignored this and used another route. But uh, I want to make a general uh, description. Okay, so let's click on this PC. Once this PC opens any external device, whether you connect a CD, okay, you want to play from your CD. I explained this in the previous video, you'll find it here. When you want to connect your phone, my phone is connected. So you can see here, Galaxy J7 Duo, Charles, that's my phone. Let me disconnect my phone, then you will see that this thing will disappear. I'll disconnect my phone. Can, can you see that? It's gone because the phone is disconnected. Let me connect the phone again. I connect it and it reappears. So mostly when you connect an external drive or external device to your computer, the best place to look for that external device is go to File Explorer and then you come to this PC. Don't forget the computer sign next to the, you know, the word this PC. Or you go to what we call my computer. You click there, then you see all external devices. So the fourth one here that you see is my USB drive. Okay. This is where I want to paste those three items that we copied. If you remember, let me minimize it. Okay. So we copied one, two, three at a go. We could have done it one at a time, but that would be a waste of time. So with the help of control, you're able to copy any number of files at one time. We have many other ways, but for, you know, beginning uh, phase, let us keep to this. So let's go back here to this PC. Then I want to paste two options. I can open it first before pasting, or I may not open it. I stand just on it from outside here. I right click on it. Then I go for the option for paste, right? So I just paste. Or as I said, I can open it. You remember to open a file, you just have to double click on it. Or you right click, then you select open. So if I open it like this, the name appears here as USB drive E. Then the content of it, that is all the files inside this drive E must appear here. So I can go down to see, okay? I can you know, stretch this one a little bit to the right. To stretch, I just put my case out there to see that arrow, you know, a straight line with arrow to the left and to the right. Then I stretch it, you know. So uh, just in case I want to paste from here, I will not stand on any of these files. I will come far to the right side in an empty space, right? Like this place, the empty space. I will right click and then I will select paste. The moment I click paste, all those three folders that we copied, they are going to be pasted here. You saw when it was pasted. Sometimes if the size of the file is too small, you will not even notice that it is copying, yet it copies. So let's go down and you see all the three files here. You can see activity three, activity one, and activity uh, two. So we have them on the USB flash drive. So I can eject my USB flash drive and then uh, take it to another PC and I can still have access to these three uh, documents, okay? So that is one way of uh, copying a file from one location to another place, okay? Now, not only with the USB that we can copy to, I can copy, take for example, activity two. I can right click and select copy. I can paste it inside, oh, these three are selected. Let me deselect it. Right click on activity two and select copy. I can go and paste it inside another place on this same computer. For, for instance, I can paste this inside document or I can paste it inside music or inside videos, inside pictures, anywhere I deem fit. It's all up to you how you want to organize your data on your PC. So if I want to paste this inside document, I still go to the same place called File Explorer, I click. Though, for now, the active window is the USB. 
but I will look on the left pane here or on the left side and I look for computer. You know, I'm scrolling up and down. You know how I move this one is I put the cursor on this bar. I press it on the left side of the mouse, left click with one finger or the thumb. I keep pressing and the other finger rolls it up or down. So I spoke about it in the other video. Or I can come up here to the arrow here. Then on the left side, I click gradually, you know, one click at a time. So I take my time to observe. It moves up, 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 up. I can come down here and click at a time and observe, you know, on the left side, what I'm actually looking for. So I'm looking for document. So document, I may click to open the content of the document or I may not click. I will just right click on document and select paste. It will enter inside. So two options. I either open it first and go and paste inside or I will paste it from outside. If I want to paste it from outside, I will right click on it. Then in the options here, I select paste. So paste, here we go. It's, it's a very small size, so we did not even notice it, but it has gone there. So let's open a document, just a single click on the left side. Or this side here, if you want to open, it's just like the tax bar. You just do a single click. So we click here, then it opens. So we should search through all the files and we should be able to find activity too. Lucky enough, it's the first you know, folder here. So this is how we copy from one location to the other. Basically, you go to that particular location, you right click and select copy. Then you go to the destination location where you want to put it and then you paste. Uh, uh, maybe the last example, let's say we are we want to copy something from pictures. I don't know if I have any picture that I can use. Okay, I go to pictures. Then let's say I try screenshot. Let's open a screenshot. I don't have any screenshot. Okay, uh, let's say uh, I have seen pictures, nothing here. Okay, let me go to music. Okay, now this is music, right? And let's say I want to copy one of these MP4, you know, files and then paste it in another place on this computer. Maybe I want to paste it on desktop. So the one that I want, let's say I want to worship. So uh, I just go there to worship and then I right click on worship. The size is a bit large, one gig. Let me see. I want a smaller size. Uh, this one here. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, this one is good. This is 165 megabytes. So it will copy very quickly. So I right click on this one here. And I go down to select copy. So the thing is, when it is copying, you don't see it. You don't see it. it is sometimes when it is pasting, you may see if the size is quite big. But if it is not big, you know if you notice it. So I have copied this uh, file called ns Poku. Okay. So I will just minimize this one i want to paste it on desktop okay so i'll minimize it so that i can have access to the desktop so once i have access to the desktop i stand anywhere as long as i don't stand on another file it's fine so in an empty place like this i right click and i select paste so this size you will see it you see it's copying it's copying it's copying once it fills up finished so this is the file here that i copied from uh, music and then I brought it to uh, desktop. So this is how we transfer files from one place to the other. I can as well copy from the USB drive to the desktop. And the same procedure, I go to my file explorer. I check from the left side and look for my USB. Or if I don't find USB, I'll click on this PC. You see, two ways you will still find your USB. But here we find it here. So I can click on the USB straight away without passing through the, this PC. Then all that, all the things that are here, I decide to copy the one that I want. If it is this file I want, I go there, right click on it. Okay. Let's try again. Yeah, it, it has come now. Then I select copy. Then I move away from here to the location I want to paste it. So I minimize this one. I come to my desktop, right click and then select paste. Then we are done. So it's as simple as that. As simple as that. So uh, the next thing I want us to look at is how to install. You see, we have some programs or software.
that if you want to use those software on your computer you have to install it we don't paste like what we have been doing copy and paste copy and paste are for just files you know that you have created yourself but we have software which have been created by software engineers or programmers for example if you want to type anything on your computer you need a software or a program called microsoft office in it we have microsoft word which we use for typing if you want to do design desktop publishing you use a program you know called Cora draw we have many uh, programs for that for for doing uh, you know desktop publishing so there are some specific programs before you can use them you have to go through a process called installation okay you can install a bible on your pc so that you can read the bible you know from your pc you can install uh, uh, you know an encyclopedia or a dictionary you can install so many things uh, something that we use for playing music a player a music player or a video player so such software we install them and the way to install is very simple okay let's go and install uh, some software here let's go here i click uh, on this file explorer i want to go to a location where i have a, a file that we can install or a program that we can install let's go to document in document i have a folder called software i have put a few software here i go this place to programs okay so let's say i want to install one of these programs okay so uh, i will just go to that program for example i have uh, a program here let's 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 take this one here smart dav okay it's a free antivirus okay uh I, I, don't, I don't like it anyway but this is a free antivirus so if you want to install it it's as simple as you know double clicking on it you double click on it all right double click and it it opens it opens uh it's still trying to open so it opens this small window and then it asks you do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device so the computer is asking you whether you are sure and whether you are familiar with this software because some software can be very harmful to your pc they can they can they can cause your pc to more fashion more, more function okay or uh, not run uh, the way that you want it to be some will make the pc uh, run very slowly okay so uh i am aware of this one so i'll click yes the way to click yes it will start installing on its own the next thing to ask you click on the license agreement then you just click i don't like this software so i'm not going to click here so i'll close it i'll close it okay uh let me see i wish uh, most of these things uh, i don't need them but then i just wanted to use for explanation purposes where is it let's say i want this program here most of the installation uh, programs you will see a symbol like a pc and a cd next to it the files that you can install most of them are like that okay so uh you see this chrome chrome is uh, an internet browser i have already installed it here so it tells me to connect to the internet this is a uh, mozilla firefox okay it's also an internet browser i've also connected it here that's why i cannot connect it again then let's look at uh let's say this one here net i also have it but let me just try to click on this one here okay calibre and then let's see you see preparing to install all i did was to double click okay then when you double click most of the software they will ask you to accept the terms of agreement you just click i accept just a single click it, it checks this box then you click install okay so once you click install you don't do anything it will just start the process yourself okay it opens to this one then it asks you are you really sure you want to install this software you click yes then you wait okay then it just installs for you or it can open to another window it will ask you click next click next and then you keep on clicking until it gets to a point where it starts the installation process by itself so let's wait for it to finish the installation process okay so it has finished you can see the note here completed the calibrate setup wizard 
So click the finish button to exit the setup wizard. I can launch it by clicking finish and it will launch, you know, the program will start automatically so that you start using it, okay? Since uh, you know exactly what kind of program this one is, so it will start. So let's wait for the program to start or to launch. Uh, then we will move forward to the next part. Okay. So uh, they asked me a few things here. Let me just say next. Next. Finish. As simple as that. It's still trying to open here. I just want you to see how to use a software or how to install a software yourself. I'm done with it. I don't need this one. It's asking for an upgrade. I don't want to upgrade. So uh, basically, this is a software for ebooks, right? Ebooks collection and uh, editing and stuff like that. So if you know how to use it, you then just start using this software, right? So I don't, I don't have any plans of using it. I was using it for illustration purposes. So I'll close this software. So that is how we install software or programs onto our PC. Then a program like this, if you don't need it anymore, you cannot delete. You cannot delete. Unlike normal files that you right click, normal file like this, you right click on it, then you select delete. So it will be deleted from your PC. But any program which has been installed, the way to remove it is to uninstall, okay? To uninstall, you go to a very important place called control panel okay now i'll take opportunity to show you the use of this space here that you see where my cursor is we call it a search button it helps you to set any file on your pc very fast okay let's say you created a file you don't remember where it is you just type it or if you want to go to a document you type document anything you want you just type it and then it will take you to the place so document then document appears then you just click it will open straight to document. If you want music, you just type music, okay? Instead of going through the normal route, you can use shortcut. So you type, you type music, and you see the music folder here. You click, it will take you there. So we want to go to control panel, okay? So even though I see control panel here, I will not click on it. I just want to show you in case it doesn't pop up like that. Search control panel, you type it yourself. As you are typing, sometimes it pops up. So you can stop typing and you go and click on where the name is so it will open for you so let's wait for a moment so this is you know the window for the control panel it has so many things okay you can uh, control your antivirus here you can set up your account in case you want to put a name and a password on your piece you go to user account you click on user account now i already have uh, a user account for this if I want to add a new one, I click add a new one. Otherwise, if it is new, you can put a password on your PC so that no one can have access to your files without your authorization. Okay, you see this arrow here? I want to go back, you know, on the left side. So I click here, it takes me back to, you know, the control panel. Also, you see here, that is written category. These things, we have so many things here. I can expand it by clicking on this arrow. I click large icons or small icons, you see. It gives me a tall list, a tall list, okay? If I want it to be very small, I click on category like this, okay? So here, this is the place where installed programs go to, okay? So I want to uninstall, so I click on uninstall a program. So it's going to open another window for me. Let me uh, maximize to make it big. Then I search through here that which I want to uninstall, which is the Calibri. I don't want this, with, uh, this uh, program. So basically, I will... Take my cursor there, I will right click on it. You see in the options, there is uninstall, which is the first option. I just click uninstall. Then they will, they will ask me whether I'm really sure uh, in this uh, decision. I will say yes, do that. Then it will just uninstall the software. In other words, it will remove it entirely from my PC. It comes here again to ask me to confirm. I say yes. So it will have, you know, the, the 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 approval to continue with the uninstallation process so let's wait for a few minutes and you just sit back it will do everything for you so this is how simple we can uninstall a program from our pc so now you see it has uninstalled this program so you look in the list you don't see anything like that with the name calibre here so 
we are done with any installing. So if I want to go back to control panel, I come back here to this arrow, I can go there. So that's our control panel. We can uh, do a whole lot of things, do our internet settings. We can change the time. We can change the language of the keyboard. We can change the appearance of this PC and many things. So I want you to find time. You go there, play around it. That's how we get to know a computer. Uh, nothing will get damaged. Just uh, be a little cautious and then you open each one, you see what it means. It gives you little instruction on how to do it. And then small, small, you realize that you are getting perfect and perfect. Okay, so uh, that's it for uh, this one here. Uh, the few things that I wanted us to talk about for now. Thank you.